Hey, Kenny, we're loose. You touch any of my stuff? for wear. Name's Chuck. Charles, if you fancy. Lee. That your crew outside? Yeah. And the guy up in the cab? Him too. I saw you walking through here and thought about scaring the pants off you. What? But I couldn't force myself to do it. It's still kind of freaking me out. Train folk will do that. Already met everyone outside. They all warm to me right quick in direct sunlight. You met Chuck? Yeah, I did. It's so nice to meet someone normal for a change. He gave us candy, Ben too. Yeah. You met Kenny? Sure did. The man shares my love of the road. That's for certain. <coughs> I'm awful sorry your son's not feeling good. I appreciate your concern. Well, with a little TLC, I'm sure he'll be fit as a fiddle in no time. And I can offer y'all whatever I got, although it ain't much. Thank you. We'd like to do the same. Why don't we hold off on... Uh... Stay with us. We'd like the company. Candy Chuck gave you. It taste okay? It was really good. No funny aftertaste? No. Train's cool, huh? I guess. Scary, kind of. Hey, Chuck. Howdy. Are you alone? Why not? Seem to be doing all right. Fine, then. I'm sorry. I do like being around y'all, actually. It's nice. You caught us on a bad day. Mm. You still got a couple of kids. And this one's got a good spirit. That's some kind of something. Where are you from? You live around here? Georgia boy. You saw where I live. I'll talk to you later. Hope so. How you doing, Ben? I'm watching the girls and not working on a mega cool train. What do you think? So that's it? We're cut loose? Seems that way, yeah. Great. We don't got much left, so just gather whatever you have. Wanna ride? Well, it sounds like you're taking my home. That's a yes, then. Haven't found anything better for keeping the creepy crawlies out than that boxcar. Duck's sick. Get on the train, Clementine. He's getting sicker. Let me look at him.
We can keep going if you want. Damn right I won't. That's what we're doing. I think Lee just wants to talk it through. It's talked through! You know, Cat. I'll be up front. I don't want to hear any nonsense until we get where we're going. Gotta be hard on you, eh? Three adults taking care of three kids. No disrespect, son. There were more of us. Dad, get them. Yes. Oh, it's a shame. Lee. Lee, I need you right now. I need you to go get Ken. What, sir? Would you get that off his face? My hands are full here. Thank you. Could you just get that off his face, please? He's out of time. We need to stop this train. Okay. Please. I'm gonna go get Kenny. Hold on tight in case the train stops fast. I'm gonna get this train stopped right quick. I'm stopping the train. Stay put. Okay. Stop the train. Duck's just about gone back there, man. Don't feed me that bullshit. He'll be fine. Wake the fuck up, man. This is over. He's dead. Don't you tell me to wake up. I got a real family I'm trying to protect. Not that fucking sham you're running back there. I don't know what the hell is wrong with you, but you need to lock it up. Be a man here. Oh, you want a piece of me? Is that it? That's what I figured. What is the goddamn deal? He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. It's a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. This isn't about Doug. It's not about my son dying. What the hell do you know? You're not my friend. I don't hate you. You sure as shit haven't done anything for me. You couldn't save Herschel's son then, and 
You can't save Duck now. Shut your mouth! So you're running like a coward. I told Kaja I'd get you to stop this, and you bet your ass I'm gonna. Don't give a fuck that we don't get along. I'm not letting you do this to Cat and Duck! You wanna hurt people because you're afraid! Losing Duck ain't enough for you! Because you're fucking lose everything acting like this! I'll fucking kill you before I let that happen! I'm sorry. Again, it's... I think it's time. The boy's been bit, in case you haven't figured that out. Take as long as you need. There ain't no time left to take. What are we going to do? We can't allow him to become one of those things. But what if... what if he doesn't? Kenny, I love you very much. I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But... No. There's... Come on, Cat. If you think of one, you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him? Stop it. Just drift off to sleep. Right, hon? I mean, Jesus, this is our son. I know. But we know it's here or nothing. Oh, fuck. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. No, you don't have to. Gotcha. Fuck. I, I, I can. I can do this. You can't. I love you, Ken, but this is beyond you. I'll do it. No, it should be a parent. No parent should have to do something like this. Lee's right, Cat. We can say our goodbyes and just let that be it. I don't know. Lee, you'd be doing this family a great service. Why don't we take him into the forest so Clementine doesn't have to see? Yeah. Give us a moment to say goodbye. Of course. Duck is dying. I know. What are you doing? I'm gonna make sure he's okay. But how? He's bitten. By making sure he doesn't come back. Oh. Look, Clem. Things are... What the? No! Ben, take Clementine into the train. Go. It'll be fine.
Cat! Cat! Gotcha! Why? Cat! Honey! Oh, fucking God! <laughs> Oh my god. I... I... What do we do? Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. 